Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Beloved, all over the globe, all over the continent, it's your servant, Eric Amangua, bringing unto you Presbyterian Church of Ghana, hour of prayer and truth. Beloved, the key, the slogan is John 8, 32. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Beloved, hearing the sound of my voice, we serve a living God, and the God that we serve is still alive. Beloved, today is October 18, 2021. We are moving forward. That sister hearing the sound of my voice, we are moving forward. We are moving forward. That reverend minister, that bishop, that prophet of God, that evangelist, that teacher, that pastor, hearing the sound of my voice, we are moving forward. We are moving forward. We serve a living God. And the God that we serve is still alive. Oh, everywhere I go, oh, sing along with me. Jesus Christ has never failed as yet. Has never failed us yet. Has never failed us yet. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sing along with me. Has never failed us yet. Just one thing I know. Everywhere I go. Oh, Kabalabo. Jesus Christ has never failed us yet. Beloved, Jesus has never failed us yet. We are moving forward. Beloved, you and I have been called to preach nothing but the honor of the word of God. You and I have been called to reach out to the lost souls. You and I have been called all over the globe to reach out to the lost souls. Somebody hearing the sound of my voice. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what you are facing. But I want to assure you that Jesus Christ will forever deliver you. Jesus Christ, the one and only truth, will intercede and intervene on your behalf. Beloved, hearing the sound of my voice today, I am sharing with you on the team relevance of walking in the light relevance of walking in the light beloved i believe each and every one hearing the sound of my voice on this platform has a lantern in your home you have a lantern in your home you know in our various households we have lantern in our various households we have a flashlight but one thing that i want to assure you is that those flashlights, those lanterns that we have in our various homes, all has an expiring date. Has an expiring date. But, 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 but there is one particular light that has no expiring date. That light that I'm talking about is the light of this world. And this light shines forever. This light has no limitations. The lanterns that we use has limitations. The flashlights that we use has limitations. The candles that we use just has limitations. But this light that I'm talking about, who is Christ Jesus, has no limitations. This light shines everywhere. This light manifests everywhere. Beloved, hearing the sound of my voice. When you read John chapter 8, verse 12, then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Beloved, I want to place much emphasis. I want to accentuate 
on the concept of light. He said, I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. In Greek, in Greek, in this context, it's called force. Force. It's called force. It means to shine. It means to make manifest. Or figuratively, it talks about knowledge which enlightens the mind, the soul, or the conscience, including also the idea of moral goodness, purity, and holiness, and of consequent reward and happiness. So somebody hearing the sound of my voice, figuratively, in the context of John chapter 8 verse 12, light could be seen as Christian piety, Christian purity, Christian holiness. Oh, that sister hearing the sound of my voice. Jesus Christ is, is this light that I'm talking about. When you have Jesus, you will need to live a life full of piety. When you have Jesus, you will need to live a holy life. When you have Jesus, beloved, hearing the sound of my voice, you will live a life so pious. That sister hearing the sound of my voice. Are you walking in the light of the Lord? That reverend minister, that bishop, that unbeliever, are you walking in the light of the Lord? Jesus is coming again. Jesus is coming again. Jesus is coming again. That unbeliever, I see a touch. 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 Begin to rise up and walk in the light of the Lord. Begin to rise up and walk in the light of the Lord. Oh, somebody hearing the sound of my voice. Begin to rise. Begin to rise and walk in the light of the Lord and walk in the light of the Lord. This light that I'm talking about is Jesus Christ. When you have Jesus, there is joy. Philippians 4 verse 4 says that, for rejoice in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice in the Lord. The light of Jesus Christ, the light of God, who is Christ Jesus, when you have him, you will need have joy. You will need to have joy, a joy of salvation. That person hearing the sound of my voice, Jesus is calling you. He says that you should come and walk in the light. Beloved, light is used especially of Christ Jesus as the great teacher and savior of the world who brought life and immortality to light in his gospel as recorded in Luke chapter 2, the verse 32. Beloved, what does it mean to walk in the light? To walk in the light means that abhorring sin by following Jesus, the Christ. To walk in the light means that growing in holiness and righteousness and maturing in the faith as we follow Christ Jesus. Walking in the light it's all about your daily commitment, your daily devotion with Christ Jesus. Beloved, how committed are you? And how devoted are you? How many times do you even pray? How many times do you read the word of God? How many times do you have to even stay so steady for God's word? That pastor hearing the sound of my voice, I used to walk in the light of the Lord. That believer, that, 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 that leader hearing the sound of my voice, I used to walk in the light of the Lord. Beloved, the light of the Lord ever shines everywhere. The light of the Lord manifests everywhere. Those still living in darkness, those, those still living in the bondage of sin, I see the light of Christ Jesus locating somebody. I see the Christ of Jesus delivering somebody from the concept of LGBTQ+. 
I see the light of God changing the mind of our leaders. I see the light of God being instilled in our leaders. I see the light of Christ Jesus being instilled in all the youth. I see the light of Christ Jesus being instilled in all nations. Walking in the light of the Lord. Walking in the light of the Lord. Somebody hearing the sound of my voice. What then is the relevance of walking in the light? What then is the relevance of walking in the light? Isaiah chapter 2, the verse 5. All house of Jacob, come let us walk in the light of the Lord. All house of Jacob, come let us walk in the light of the Lord. In this context, in the Hebrew, we say all. Oh. We say all. Oh. So he said, all oh, house of Jacob, come let us walk in the awe oh of the Lord. This kind of Hebrew word in this context is all about happiness. It's all about happiness. All oh, house of Jacob, come let us walk in the happiness of the Lord. Come let us walk in the happiness of the Lord. All oh, house of Jacob, come let us walk in the happiness of the Lord. Thou sister hearing the sound of my voice. Come, let us walk in the happiness of the Lord. Come, let us walk in the joy of the Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I don't care what you are going through. I don't care what you are facing. But I say, oh, house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the happiness of the Lord. Come, let us walk in the Hebrew word, in the awe of the Lord. In the awe of the Lord. Oh yes, relevance of walking in the light of the Lord. Relevance of walking in the light of the Lord is also seen in the book of Psalm 89 verse 15. Blessed are, are, are you people, or oh, blessed are the people who know the joyful sound. They walk, O oh Lord, in the light of your countenance. They will continue to walk in the presence of the Lord. Beloved, if you walk in the light of the Lord, one of the relevance is that you will be blessed. 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 Is that blessed are the people who know the joyful sound. Beloved, when we walk in the light of the Lord, we are always attentive. When we walk in the light of the Lord, you know, we draw so close to God and that makes us attentive. That makes us prepare ourselves for the coming of Christ Jesus. That is that joyful sound. A day whereby you and I will be called into eternity, there is that joy. There is that joyful sound. Beloved, hear the sound of my voice. Oh, yes. Relevance of walking in the light. We will be blessed. 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 And you and I will indeed know the day of that joyful sound. What is another relevance of walking in the light of the Lord? First John chapter 1, verse 7. If we walk in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus purifies us from all sin. Beloved, when we commit our lives in Christ and thus identify ourselves with him, his death becomes ours. Jesus Christ has paid the penalty for our sins and his blood has purified us. Jesus Christ rose from the grave. You and I will rise to a new life of fellowship with him. This is the kind of fellowship that I'm talking about. Romans chapter 6 verse 4. When we walk in the light, there is that fellowship. Continuous fellowship. Perpetual fellowship with Christ and with others. Beloved, hear in the sound of my voice. Are you still walking in the light of the Lord? I am inviting you today. I am inviting you. I am inviting you. 
I am inviting you to the light of Jesus. To the light of Jesus. Beloved, I am releasing the prayer points. The number one prayer point is that wherever you are, say, Dear Lord Jesus, may your light manifest and may your light shine for all nations, for all countries, for all generations, especially the youth. Beloved, pray this prayer that, Oh Lord Jesus, may your light be instilled in the youth. May your light, which is a symbol of holiness, may your light be instilled in the youth. May your light be manifested in all nations, in all continents, in all presidents, in all leaders, in all pastors, in all reverend ministers all over the globe. Pray this prayer. Father Lord Jesus, as I lift up prayer today, Lord, may your light be manifested in all the youth, in all ministers of the gospel, in all presidents of a country. Lord, may them see your light. 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 Oh Lord Jesus, May them see your light. All ministers walking in darkness, ministers of the gospel, reverend ministers, pastors, leaders of various groups, president of countries, walking in darkness. May them experience the light of God at this period. May them experience the light of God. All youth walking in darkness. May them experience the light of God. May them experience the light of God in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 And the root of LGBT plus plus trying to take its roots in Africa. Ah, be uprooted. May the light of God be manifest. We come against and a demon. Every spirit of LGBT plus plus fighting against Africa and all the continent, America, Asia, Europe. Lord, may your light be manifest. May your light be manifested in Africa, in Africa, in Asia, in all the continent against this LGBTQ plus. Lord, we come against it. LGBTQ plus plus. Father, we come against it. Oh, Lord God, may your light be seen. Lord, arise for us and shine. Lord, shine in every corner. Jesus, manifest in every corner, in every angle. And let this LGBTQ plus be seized in families, in churches, in schools, in every corner. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Somebody hearing the sound of my voice. I declare healing over somebody. You are in the hospital right now. You are in the hospital right now. And you think that all is lost. You are in the hospital. You can't even breathe. There is nothing that you can do. I came to announce to you. I see a new life entering you. Begin to rise up. Begin to rise up. Begin to rise up. I see a new oxygen entering your system. Receive a new breath. It is happening right now. Anybody sick in the hospital, thinking that you are going to die, it will never happen. It will never happen. It will never happen. It will never happen. The doctors have done all that they could. They've tried all medications. Beloved, today is the day of salvation for you. Today is the day of healing. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Begin to rise up from that sick bed. Rise up. That demon of premature death is canceled. It's nullified in the blood of Jesus. Yes, it is that brother. It is that brother that I'm praying for. It is that sister that I am praying for. Between the ages of 18 up to 55, yes, it is, it is cancelled. That premature death is cancelled. In the name of Jesus, you are in the hospital bed right now. Rise up and walk. 
Rise up and walk. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to rise up. Now begin to do what you couldn't do. To the glory of God. To the glory of God. To the glory of God. Accident is cancelled. Accident is cancelled. Accident is cancelled. This week, may you be fruitful. This week, may you experience the power of God. This week, may you continue to experience the grace of God. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord lift up his countenance over your life. You will hear same time. Next week by this time, the sound of my voice is yourself under the command choir, bringing unto you, Presbyterian Church of Ghana, hour of prayer and truth. Beloved, you are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. I soak you in the blood of Jesus. I soak your work. I soak your ministry. I soak your entire household. I soak all nation. I soak all continent into the blood of Jesus. In shalom. In shalom. In shalom. In shalom. In shalom alichiam. In shalom alichiam. Alichiam shalom. Bye bye.